Interpower Corporation, the premier supplier of power system components with a one-week manufacturing lead time, over 4 million parts in stock, and no minimum order requirements. Let Interpower be your warehouse. Today on Engineering Newswire, we're creating the future of armored vehicles, waging robot wars, and throwing giant lawn darts at Mars. Oh, uh, sorry. Penetrator probes. Sounds like... It makes sense that increased armor would offer more protection. Because more is always better, right? I want some more. Of course, you want more. However, weapons' ability to penetrate armor has advanced way beyond the armor's ability to withstand infiltration, which has resulted in larger, more expensive vehicles. So DARPA has created the Ground X Vehicle Technology Program to help make future armored vehicles more mobile, safe, and affordable. In addition to reversing the more is better paradigm that has existed for the past 100 years of mechanized warfare. Additionally, unlike the large, cumbersome tanks of today, the program is seeking to produce vehicles that have access to 95% of terrain with reduced signatures that traditionally enable adversaries to detect and engage vehicles. To meet these key objectives, the program proposes radically enhanced mobility, survivability through agility, crew augmentation, and signature management as the key technical areas where advancements need to be made. DARPA is aiming to develop the new technologies over the two years following the initial contract awards, which are currently planned for April 2015. This week, Lockheed Martin conducted its first fully autonomous mission. Robots moving robots? What do they even need us for anymore? Working in collaboration with TARDEC, Lockheed successfully conducted a fully autonomous resupply, reconnaissance, surveillance, and target acquisition demonstration using the squad mission support system unmanned ground vehicle, KMAX unmanned helicopter, and gyrocam optical sensor. I know what you're thinking, what are they doing with the guy in the Huey for an autonomous mission? It was just a safety precaution, he didn't touch the stick. During the test, KMAX delivered the unmanned ground vehicle with a sling load to conduct an autonomous resupply mission scenario for soldiers defending a village. When the mission was finished, it headed to an observation point where it raised its gyrocam sensor and began scanning the area for enemy forces. In an actual mission, upon observation of enemy forces, the remote operator would notify the commander on the ground who would assess the threat and determine the appropriate method of neutralizing it. So, uh... What do you think of when you hear the term, neutralize it? According to Dan Spohr, Lockheed's VP of Aviation and Unmanned Systems, there's also potential for these types of systems for the civilian oil and gas industry, firefighting, and humanitarian aid. Humanitarians? Neutralize them. There's a new Indiegogo campaign, and it's mission to find life on Mars. <sighs> Aliens. Explore Mars Inc. believes that in order to find life on Mars, we must look deep beneath the surface instead of just scratching it like we have been with rover bots and cameras. So they reinvented the lawn dart with their ExoLance concept, which leverages a delivery system of a small and lightweight penetrator probe or arrow. The arrows, which look like oversized lawn darts, impact the surface, leaving behind a radio transmitter at the surface to communicate with an orbiter. According to Explore Mars, the ExoLance combines the experiments of the 1970s Viking landers and the Curiosity rover with bunker-busting weapons technology. Bunker-busting. <laughs> and the system involves a metabolic test that clearly distinguishes non-living chemistry from the chemistry produced by the metabolism of living microorganisms. The hope is that it can also determine if the life is related to life on Earth or part of a new strain of life. Like To get more information on how you can help with this particular project, click on the link below. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in the next episode. For the PD&D channel, I'm David Manti, and this has been your Engineering Newswire.